Abby, the message from Ryan Walters was pretty similar to what we heard during his campaign for the office. First, he wants to eradicate what he describes as a woke ideology that he claims exists in Oklahoma classrooms. Second, he wants to expand school choice across the state. Since you've taken on this role, have you heard more from parents? What are parents still telling you today about the state of education here in Oklahoma? Uh, yes, I'm getting messages, emails, everything from parents uh, every hour. And what I'm hearing from parents is they want the indoctrination out of their schools. They continue to talk about examples of critical race theory in their schools. They continue to talk about this radical transgender education that's put, been put in schools. The superintendent not going into specifics about these reports and claims of CRT and transgender education, but still are argues it is happening in Oklahoma. Historically, you don't often hear from a top education officials ideas like radical, woke, or even this much politics. Do, do you worry this will leave a bad taste in maybe the mouth of parents or, or, or teachers who want to come to Oklahoma? So what we've seen here is the people who have brought politics to education are radical leftists. What we have seen in education is, is something unique in our nation's history. Also a top priority for the superintendent, finding ways to bring a school choice system to Oklahoma, where students would have the ability to attend schools outside their local district. Every single parent in the state of Oklahoma should have the full freedom to choose their kids' education. Uh, I'm not going to rest until every parent in every corner of the state has that power. What would you tell lawmakers, uh, Republican and Democrat, as well as their constituents who fear that expanding maybe a uh, school choice or a voucher program, whatever it may be, whatever form it may be, uh, will kill smaller rural schools? I would say that's ridiculous. That's a lie perpetuated by radical Democrats in the state and our radical woke teachers union. They have lied about this repeatedly. The reality is we need to empower parents. And Ryan Walters first meeting the first State Board of Education meeting as state superintendent will happen here at the Department of, Edu of Education. It's set for later this month, January 26th.